welcome to MSC videos. So in this session, we are going to discuss three important terms in graph theory, a walk, path and a circle. Let us discuss. A walk, it can be called as edge train or a chain. It is a finite alternate sequence of vertices and edges beginning and ending with vertices such that each and edge is incident with vertices preceding and following it. So in a walk, no edges are allowed to appear more than once. N vertices are different, then it is called as a open walk, otherwise it is called as a closed walk. Initially, walk is defined as it is an alternate sequence of vertices and edges. So we have to start from a vertex and we have to complete at the vertex. And one more condition is each and every edges are allowed to appear only once. So then a walk can be classified into open walk and then a closed walk. Open walk means that a starting vertex is different from the ending vertex. If it is a closed walk, the starting vertex is same as that of the ending vertex. So if it is an open walk, we are starting from V1, then I am visiting this V2 through A and from V2 by using the edge B, then I am visiting this V3. From V3, once again I am using the loop C and once again I am visiting V3 and by using the edge D, then I am moving to V4 and then by using the edge E, then I am moving to V2 and from V2 by using the edge F, then I am ending at V5. You can have your own walk. But a open walk is here I am starting from V1 and ending at V5. A closed walk is defined as we are starting from V1 and we are ending at V1 itself. That is we are saying it is a closed walk. If the starting vertex and ending vertex are same, then we are calling it as a, a closed walk. So uh, a closed walk here we are starting from V1 by using the edge A, uh, by we are visiting V2 and then by using the edge B, I am visiting V3. And then once again I am reaching this G. So V1, V2, V3 and once again G. This is we are calling it as a, a closed walk. Then a path. A path must be a open walk. So a open walk in which no vertex are allowed to appear more than once. In a normal walk, no edges are allowed to appear more than once. Then we are providing another one restriction that is a path in which no vertices are also allowed to appear more than once. So we are starting from V1, then I am by using the edge A, I am visiting V2, then by using the edge B, I am visiting V3, then by using the edge D, I am visiting V4. You can have your own path. So V1, V2, V3 and then V4. So the length of this path is actually 3, which is indicating the number of edges in the path. So A, B, D are the 3 edges. So length of this particular path is, it is actually then a circuit, a circuit is actually a closed walk in which no vertices are allowed to appear more than once. If there is no restriction, then we are calling it as a walk. If there is a restriction, it is we are defining it as a path and a circuit. Path is a open walk, circuit is actually a closed walk. We are starting from a vertex and we have to reach the same vertices. That is what actually the closed walk. So in a circuit, no vertices are also allowed to appear more than once. So that a subgraph can be uh, defined as a, a walk. From subgraph, you can define a walk. A walk can be classified into a path and a circuit. Every path is a walk and every walk is a subgraph. But you can't say that every subgraph is a walk and every walk is a path. And similarly, every circuit is a walk and then you can't say that every walk is a circuit. Thanks for watching my channel. Keep on visiting my channel. Thank you.